Welcome to Lane Higher Car University. I'm gonna teach you guys a super hack. I'm gonna leave a few gems on here, so take a lot of notes. I'm gonna teach you the psychology of higher car renters so you can earn a lot more money. The best way to actually acclimate and get used to the psychology and understand the psychology so you can earn more money with higher car renters, your clientele, basically your customers, is simply by doing this. Something I did before I was even on the higher car platform, which was I'm so happy I did it because I learned the psychology, uh, so I'm able to make more money now uh, with higher car. But I actually was a Postmates driver. I also was an Uber Eats driver. I was a DoorDash driver, an Instacart driver, a Shipt driver, spelled S-H-I-P-T. I also worked for Amazon Flex as well. So the cool thing about this is that since I did deliveries and I used my car for deliveries, I was all about making money. I want I did that so I can make money so I can invest in my company. I was currently working for another um, insurance agency and at that, I knew I was about to leave, but I wanted to actually earn my money at the insurance agency and also earn money by um, participating in gig activities like ride share activity, like Postmates, delivering food, etc. So I knew this and so I wanted to earn as much money as possible. What this taught me was, it taught me how valuable tips are, it taught me how valuable my time was. Uh, when I got tips, it totally made my day because I felt, wow, not only they appreciated me, I got extra money over the what they call the batch amount uh, for Instacart, Instacart or the, the pay account or the earnings for DoorDash, etc. And I used to do this for, for hours. Sometimes I did 12 hours to 18 hours a day. Seriously, I was making money, but I, that became my job actually. The reason I'm mentioning is I think you should totally consider every demographic, every city, every state's different, every country's different. What I highly recommend you do, I can't tell you what company to join or not join. I'll mention a few, but because every demographic's different and you might have different companies in your area. Um, so what I'm saying is you should try at least for a few days. I'll say give it a month. Sign up. Might as well earn some extra money. Sign up for these rideshare companies. Sign up to be an Uber driver. Sign up to be a Lyft driver. Sign up to be a Postmates driver. Sign up to be a DoorDash driver, Instacart driver, a Shipt driver, a Grubhub driver with your vehicle. This way you learn how your vehicle works with Uber and Lyft if it passes the 19 point inspection, which it should. Um, and it also allows you to understand how your car brakes, how it goes, so when, you, when you accelerate, when you drive, when you park. Um, you, you'll actually get real time experience on how the uh, higher car renter feels emotionally and psychologically by actually doing this because what it'll do is it'll teach you how to actually deliver and how to transport people with your car because that's who your demographic is you're renting your car to people that participate in uber and lyft when you need a 19 point inspection you're also participating with people that um participating um with and renting the people who actually deliver for like postmates doordash etc uber eats you have to understand your psychology. You don't have to do this, but if you want to go a step further and outcompete the other hardcore owners, I just give you a huge secret there. That's how you can outcompete other hardcore renters. That's how you get more business. That's how you understand, hey, it's all about putting money in their pockets. They want a good car that never breaks down. And if it happens, it happens. But you want to, they want, you know, if it does break down, they want you to take care of it right away because, again, you're affecting their money. This is a, a demographic war. We're renting to people that want to make money. They want to participate in Uber and Lyft. They want to participate in Postmates, DoorDash, Grubhub, Instacart, Amazon Flex, etc., etc., etc. So always make sure your car is in good working condition. When you drive your car, you'll figure out, okay, my car is in good condition or it's not in good condition. Or, hey, this Bluetooth doesn't work. And a lot of people probably want Bluetooth if they're doing Uber and Lyft. Or hey, the drive, my hire car renter might want to listen to music while they're driving. So you might want to get that fixed. It allows you to gut check your vehicle and gut check yourself and psychologically learn that, hey, this is what they use it for. And then as you're getting paid, you'll become happy when you get a tip. You'll be sad when you don't get a tip. You'll understand, oh man, I have to wait 30 minutes for this order. You'll understand their psychology. This will help you in such a priceless way. You can't pay for this experience. You just have to put sweat equity in, do it, download the app, at least do it for a month. If you can't do a month, do at least one week delivering religiously and consistently with one company or a few companies and learn their system so that you can speak with them, you can speak the higher car renters language. That way you can empathize, you can understand, you can even share, hey, I used to do this too, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And that's how you do it, people. So sign up for these apps, consider that strategy, learn the system inside out, make some tips, make some money, um, deliver, do deliveries, pick up people, Lyft and Uber, just so you can understand your clientele and your customer psychology. That's, that's the trick for today. Like, subscribe, share. I love you guys. Carly and out. Peace.